Welcome to Car Does Everything and in this video I'm going to be telling you guys about my Men and Jada story and how I got it and stuff. So let's get right into the video. So it all started back 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 in 2008 when I first got it so I was playing out with my friends one day and like I was a uh, after I was playing with my mates, I felt sick, but it was like foggy weather when I was playing with my mates, and I felt sick. So I went home and told my mummy and daddy that I had like like I was really really bad, like sick. So like a week, I was uh, out of school for like a week because I was very sick, and my um my mummy rung the doctor to come down and see me and he says it was just a chest infection All right and then so then my mummy was like no it couldn't be a chest infection it's way worse so then my mummy got another doctor called Dr. McClory so he came down and right away says he had meningitis let's get him to the hospital so I got rushed to the hospital I had 15 to 10, no, 5 to 10 minutes to live, right? So I went straight to the hospital. Don't even know what the hell that is. Don't even know what is going on. So, um, yeah, I done that. And then this weird thing happened. I fell asleep up thing, and the guy was having this weird dream about, like, like, what was it, like, I forget what the dream was, it was ages ago, but I had this weird dream and all that. And then I woke up, and I don't even know, um, I was, like, in this weird, like, place, because I've never seen a hospital before. And I was like, what, where am I? And I looked over, and my mummy was in this other bed beside me. And I was like, mummy, where are we? And my mummy said, um, thing. No, you're just in a hospital. Um, you're not well, so yeah. And then, uh, all time passed by. I watched a few movies on my wee TV beside my bed, and then people brought gifts. My daddy brought like stuff from McDonald's after he was working, and then I got this like like cat teddy bear called Baby. I called it Baby Shannon. And, um, then my sister's friend's mummy got it for me. So I really loved that thing and stayed with me for years after my injuries. So then when I had to learn how to walk, jump, um, run, and all that stuff again. Uh, by the way, my injuries is like a brain disease where it infects your thing and it... It is a possibility where you can lose your two arms and your two legs. But I was lucky, so I survived this. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I did learn how to do a lot again. It was tough jumping. Jumping was the hardest part. And then when I got it all under control, I went... I got out of the hospital. And I, I still was out of school. But, like, I, I was out of school for a year. And I went to his training place where I learned how to kick and stuff. There was this big giant ball I played with stuff. Even when I was in the hospital, I didn't know what was going on. And I said, I called one of the nurses fat. I remember that. Like, I was only like five at the time. So then I learned how to kick and stuff like that there. Then after all that there, we went to this restaurant in the hospital. It was a nice restaurant. It was at the very top of the building. I got Oasis, baby sausages and beans and all that. Um, yeah, that was nice. I don't know if I could go back. And then, before I was better, I got to go to this trip on the Lapland. It was a nice time. There was very big snow, and I got to get on reindeers and ride the woods and stuff. And then I got to see Santa and stuff. Um, yeah, it was... It was fun. I had to eat reindeer meat or something. And the igloos, the igloos were like restaurants. It was cool. And then I went home. 
then I was better and then I had to take these milkshakes and all and I lied on the sofa and then when I was better to go back in the school everyone like had sent me cards into the hospital to get well soon and then I since I had my injuries for a year I had to move into a different class so I had to do P1 twice yeah that's why I am 13 and I am in first year I'm a year older than everyone because of what happened Yeah, so it's weird everyone asks why I'm like that. Oh, I was held back a year for meninges. So then the DP won twice. But I'm glad it did because my my class that I got new was all my best friends. They're all very close and then um I got to go to St Patrick's for my secondary school which I'm in right now. I'm coming I'm not well not really near the end, but summer's coming up and that's when I'm out of First year, I'm going in the second year. Yeah, so in second year, I'll be 14. And then I'll be 13. So that'll be fun. Yeah, so that was my story of my meningitis. Um, story, so yeah. The, this is the end of the video, and this has been Carl from Carlos Everything, Carlos Everything, and see you guys in the next one, bye.